Hello and welcome to Let's Talk SEO. Now don't mind the ghetto background over here because this is a work in progress and once this is ready you will not see this ghetto background which is really just a mattress that hides a bunch of boxes behind me. So, you know, once this is ready you, you, know, you, uh, you guys will have to be distracted by the mattresses and the boxes and the bare walls of my under construction um, store slash uh, studio so now i ran into a plugin actually someone uh, recommended me the plugin and it's a google chrome plugin and i use it and it does away with one of the biggest problems with chat gpt and that it, it does not spit out relevant new information it's pretty good at spitting out information but it's not new information so what this plugin really does is it it uh, forces chat GPT to pull up uh, to pull up the latest information and then gives that to you and uh, it uh, I'll show you how this works but before I do like and subscribe and if you have if you know of another plugin that is as good or does this better than the plugin that I talk about in this video uh, then leave a link or a comment below I'd love to hear from you so guys, let's jump right in. Okay, so I've prepared a bunch of questions for ChatGPT. I'm going to start with asking this question, these the same questions from ChatGPT with the plugin and then ChatGPT without the plugin. And so you can see a side-by-side -side comparison. I'm going to start with the fairly new, uh, a fairly new development. Um, someone uh, won the World Cup. So let's ask ChatGPT who won the 2022 FIFA World Cup and all right so it says I'm sorry my training data only goes up to 2021 so I'm not able to provide you with the information on the winner of the 2022 FIFA World Cup tournament has not been played yet all right so only till 2021 all right so let's ask it um let's ask it another more pr uh, present question uh when will the Samsung Galaxy S23 be announced. So, again, it gives me this templated answer. Um, release days for new smartphones are typically not announced far in advance and can vary depending on a variety of factors. So, again, this is the second question it, it cannot answer. Um, the last gasket and third question, so we're going to keep this video brief. Uh, when did Russia attack Ukraine? Why right, Russia? It gives me all information because uh, in 2021 Russia had not yet attacked Ukraine. Um, so it's giving me this dated information. As you can see now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a side by side comparison and so i'm going to pull to do, do, do start with the first question who won the 2022 who won the world cup so we'll do this and so let me just give you a quick look at how the interface looks so first thing is you can choose a region over here so we will search a specific region i put in the united states just like you do in google then you have any time so you can also choose from if you want results from the past day week you know, same thing as you do with Google. You can also uh, change how many results uh, is fed into ChatGPT. I usually like to set it to five. It's by default set to three. It's a little slower, but it gives more information. So let me start with the first one. And as you can see, so when I when I asked it this question, so it says current date instructions using the provided web search results write a comprehensive reply to the query so this is something that the plugin is doing automatically for me and uh chat gpt is now using this information from these five websites from the from the latest web search results so one two three four and five and what it's it's doing is it's phrasing its information based on those search results so according to it says one two three four five argentina won the 2022 fifa world cup the final match ended in a 3-3 draw and Argentina beat France. Penalty shootout for two Lionel Messi led. So you get the, you get the idea. Now, 
I'm not a big World Cup fan, but you know, that's that. Um, so let's let's try the second question. When will the Samsung Galaxy S23 be announced? Go ahead, click over here, paste it over here real quick, and again it brings up these search results. So one, two, three. Four and five. So it's gone ahead. It's taken a look at these search results, and as I said, according to the provided web search results, the Samsung Galaxy X23 is expected to be announced on the 1st of February 2023, which is correct. Um, however, it's not confirmed and could be announced in January or March of 2023. Incorrect because it will be announced on the 1st of February. Uh, I got the invite. Um, so the next one is when did Russia attack Ukraine? So we'll paste that in enter and okay so it's pulling this up so one two three four and five results so this is really fast um chat gpt is then phrasing this information again it will take a while so according to the provided web search results russia reportedly attacked ukraine on january 26 2023 um it is reported that the attack targeted a building in kiev the country's capital and killed at least one person and injured at least two people. So this is from the news and this is the most um, present information. And if I ask it, uh, when was the latest Google update released? Google algorithm. Let's see what it comes up with. For this and as for least and provide web search results on September the 12th 2022 or algorithm update 2 according to the source and so this information is not entirely correct but yes the core al the core algorithm update was launched uh, was announced on the 12th but then we had a few other updates which, which were in December and we probably will not have an update in January a video that I will make and we'll probably have fewer updates in 2023 um because google does not have as many people left because they fired a lot of their um search engine staff and a lot of the the, the people that were working on other projects for them so they're sh they're going to be short staff so do not expect there to be as many uh, core updates in 2023 as there were in 2022 or even just general updates to like the spam update or helpful content update we're not going to see as many as uh, as those so guys as you can see um, quick uh, look here at this uh, plugin uh, if you have a question leave a comment below there's a link to the plugin in the description which you can click and you can play around with again i don't own the plugin this is not my plugin and uh you know i'm not responsible for how you use it but use it wisely and use it to improve your seo um you want to check out my other chat gpt plugin if you're new to chat gpt you want to you want to use uh, this plugin because it makes not having to remember prompts very easy and you don't have to remember any prompts if you're an seo you can pull up you can do a whole bunch of you know fancy keyword research tricks that would otherwise not be possible or you'd have to you know just remember a whole bunch of uh of commands and prompts and everything so this makes your life a lot your life a lot easier and uh, so you can check out that video over here